Hello everybody, welcome to the show. We'll cover the topic of how to package MPS languages so that they could be used as plugins inside IntelliJ IDEA. So I built this simple language for property files that allows you to create property files and entries in them so then you could do stuff like this and it will get generated into a proper dot properties file. And now I want this language to be available inside IntelliJ IDEA, so I want to package it as a plugin so IntelliJ IDEA users could pick it up and import into IntelliJ IDEA. So we'll go through the process of how to package your language or languages into a plugin. To do that we have to create a build script that will so essentially, we need to describe our language structure and we have to describe what we want to generate out of it. And then, using end, we can generate the JAR file that we can distribute as a, as a plugin. So there are several ways to create a build script for your project. I'll use the easiest way first, and that's using the wizard. So if we go to, on a, so when you click on your project and you say new build script, you get a wizard and that wizard will will create a build script for us. So we'll create a new solution in that solution we'll create a new build uh, model with this build script. Now we might choose from three options. We could choose whether we want the we, w whether we want to build a plugin for MPS which would generate a plugin just like for IntelliJ IDEA but with all the MPS dependencies so that you could have MPS users import your plugin. Or we could create a plugin for IntelliJ IDEA, that's what we'll be doing here. Or you could create a script that will create a standalone IDE for you. So that it will be a separate Java application which might look like MPS because it's using the same library of visual components, but it will not have any language design languages and tools and infrastructure. So it will be a standalone IDE, the sole purpose of which is to enable users to use your languages. Well, in our case, we'll be doing plugin for IntelliJ IDEA. And now, what languages do we want to include? Languages and runtimes. Well, in my case, I only want the language, simple IDEA plugin. I might include some runtimes if they are necessary, but in my case, they are not. So I have this, and now I go finish and it will generate a build script for me. So here we go. Uh, if you look at the build script, it generates a build XML, which is uh, an end build script, and it will go into uh, well, this folder. So this is where to search for the generated build XML file. Once we generate, we set a base directory, which is in currently the root of the project, which is pretty convenient, and we use plugins Java and MPS. The the wizard has prepared for this for us. We could also create a script, a build script by ourselves. So we could just go in a, in an existing solution uh, and an existing model. We just need to make sure the model has. JetBrains MPS ID built as an imported model and these two languages as used languages and then in such in such uh, a solution in such a uh, in such a model we could create new build project ourselves and we would get an empty build project notice you know this is the same thing just filled in uh, by the the wizard while here we would start from scratch but we would pretty much end up with something similar to this so using the wizard, if you do some typical scenarios, it's probably a good thing that, could, that can save you quite, quite some time in. So I'll, I'll delete this guy. And we'll continue with uh, the generated script. But you have two ways to get to this point, either by hand or by using a wizard. So in the in the use plugin section we specify what we wanna build we wanna be able to build Java sources, we wanna be also able to build MPS languages. If all you need is to build an MP, uh, a Java project, you don't need this MPS you don't need this MPS plugin. Now there are some macros that are placeholders for some uh, some values. 
Uh, well, we don't need these three. They've been taken from my uh, MPS path variables. We don't need them in this build script. All we need is these two because they are then be used down there in the, in the build script. So our build script depends on two things. It depends on idea. So it needs to know where IntelliJ IDEA is because we're building a plugin for IntelliJ IDEA. We need the jar files in IntelliJ IDEA so that we can uh, so that we can build the project. And we need to say where IntelliJ IDEA is. And here we use the here we use the here we use the macro, the IntelliJ IDEA home macro which is currently empty and I'll provide a value. Well the paths have to be relati relative to the base directory which is here. So here we go and then plugins home this is the place where the MPS core plugin is. So you have to specify where you installed the the MPS plugin for IntelliJ IDEA which there are two places where you can put it typically. It's IntelliJ IDEA Home, which is you know the root of IntelliJ IDEA installation, and it's plugins, plugins folder. In there, typically, you would find the plugins. And the second location, and that's the one uh, I need to use here, is in my home folder. So we go to the, to the user home folder, and then the, there is a dot IntelliJ IDEA folder, and it has a config folder in there, plugins in there. So this is where my plugin is. This is where I installed IntelliJ, uh, the MPS IntelliJ IDEA plugin. So, so now we have dependencies. So we set IntelliJ IDEA home for the IntelliJ IDEA dependency, and then we set for build plugin, which is well the second dependency, build plugin. That is a build script that knows how to build an IntelliJ IDEA plugin out of out of MPS. And the build script needs to be located somewhere. You could either take it from an MPS installation or you could take it from the MPS core plugin that is installed in IntelliJ IDEA. This is what we're doing here. So we use the macro here. Of course, we could we could type the path directly, right? It's not we don't have to use the macros. We could type the path here ourselves directly in here. But I prefer using macros because I could reuse them elsewhere as well. Well, now we have to describe the structure of our project. So we say that we have, well, some grouping. So we group languages. You might have several groups, but we, we just have one. So a group of languages which contains a language. Here it is, which should be loaded from this file. I'll probably, for you, I'll, I'll do this step by hand. So I say, I've got a group of languages and now I can choose dev git language solution, which should t take part of that group. In that group, I should say language. And now the most conven convenient way is to go down here and say, I want to take this. Well, you navigate to the language uh, module file. So you go IntelliJ IDEA languages, simply IntelliJ IDEA plugin language, the MPL file. And now we get an error because we're missing all the uh, we're missing some information. You know, down here in the inspector, you know, the details about the language are missing. But there's an intention here available. Load required information from file, which will just load all the necessary information from the MPL file into your build script. So now we have that group, and we also specify uh, the plugin descriptor. So the stuff that you would normally describe in an XML file, plugin XML. If you if you create an IntelliJ IDEA plugin, now you could do it inside the build script, and it will generate the plugin XML file for you. So you give it a name, name of the folder in which it will be installed, and version, and now, and here you say content, which should be the group that you wanna. Uh, include and then dependency on JetBrains MPS core. So we express we depend on this. Well and then finally we say how the generated file or artifact should look like. So what we want to do is we want to create a zip file with this name and inside of it we want to have a plugin. 
which plugin well this one now obviously the build script can do more for you and it will probably shoot another screencast sh showing you the capabilities of the build script language and uh, plus you should be able to find a build script language guide or tutorial on our website soon but these are the necessary steps to build an IntelliJ IDEA plugin for your um, MPS set of MPS languages. Now once you have this build script then we press Ctrl F9 to regenerate so now we got a built XML file. So switching to file system to, to the, the file view build XML here we go so here we have the, the built XML file for end that we can then run and notice our properties for our macros as well as properties for the paths for for our um, for IntelliJ IDEA dependency and the build plugin dependency so you could set either the, those two or in our case since we have macros we can set these macros if you if you want to run this build script you notice the build script currently will run on my machine you know the path is specific to my machine but if I want to run this on another machine or on a continuous integration server, I need to override these properties. So I would have to override these two properties on on command line if I wanted to run it on a you know on a build server somewhere. Alternatively, you know, I could I could override these directly. Okay, time to run it. So the easiest way to run your build script is just right click on your build script and say run. So here is the output of the end process and as a result we should get a zip file on this location which is the plugin zip file which now we can distribute to IntelliJ IDEA users. Alternatively we could run the same build script from the command line. So now we can just run end. It will find build XML and it will run it and it will create a zip file again at the same location. Now obviously on the command line we could override the idea home idea home and plugins home uh, macros that we defined so we could change them to something else okay so as a result of this now we have a zip file we can take that zip file and unzip it into the IntelliJ IDEA plugin directory and we have that plugin available but that's something we'll cover in another screencast so please stay tuned if you want to see how to do that okay well that's it for now thanks for watching goodbye